Welcome to Grumpy Guy Gaming, it's time for another painting with Grumpy and today I'm going to show you how to paint an ultramarine intercessor. I don't know how, I hope I said that correctly. Right. Uh, I've already been asked why this. Uh, this was a request from uh, one of my subscribers and a very old friend of mine a long time ago. I just didn't feel comfortable painting the ultramarines that much. <laughs> Uh, but I made myself to do this tutorial and hopefully you uh, you guys, gals, will have some use of for it. Uh, as previously on the, my videos, I'm going to show you what paints I'm going to use and then you're going to watch half an hour of me butchering English language and that's it. <laughs> now let's go to the table and let's hopefully have fun or learn something. I don't Uh, I, the model was primed with Macarage Blue and now we are going to use Caldor Sky for the beginning and we are going to sketch more or less uh, all the highlights. You can see I am not being too careful about it, just modifying it, uh, not modifying it. Uh, Applying it's very thin layers. Uh, my paints are always diluted, uh, even in the bottles. So you can see now that I'm uh, feathering out the, the highlight. This uh, this will be a process of coming back once it's dry. But at the moment, I'm just blocking them in. Looking at where where my highlights should be. I guess I'm going back and forth always on the same st style. No, not on the same spot a couple of times. Since it's thinner layers, it's better to go a couple of layers then you get a smoother transition if i add too much i uh, just uh, wet the brush and just uh, feather feather the paint out as you can see as i'm painting you can see that it's the highlights are slowly being more and more visible this is a uh, hundred eight hundred percent speed so just so you know but I want to so you can see where I'm actually sh putting all the highlights it's mostly where I think the light should be hitting I might be wrong <laughs> you it's that depends on the viewer Leave a comment below if you think I didn't do the highlights correctly. Uh, and it's just going all around, touching up, coming back, touching up. But you can see that there's a little bit of a sharp edge. And for that we will use uh, a glaze of Macarage Blue. And we're going to glaze just the the parts uh, to blend better the highlights. You can see that we're slowly getting better. This is just the process of smoothing out. We're going to use a darker shade later for the shading. This is not a perfect technique, but I like this. It's a little bit faster than standard. 
you can see now that on the shoulder it's already looking very nice it's almost no transition between the paints now here I'm going to uh, be adding uh, a Rhinox hide because I wanted a different color in one just uh, black to add it so it's a little different I'm going to glaze the shadows underneath so see so go covering the lower parts here a little bit of the top part if it's too much just don't al allow this to pull you'll get stains <laughs> nobody likes stains uh, and it's just applying it all around the darker shadows you want the, the more uh, layers you'll need to do but I'm going all around the model and then when I come back to the same spot it will be more or less dry I'm going to speed up a little bit again uh, you can see I'm applying it all the time, checking if it's uh, it's not pulling anywhere. And you can see I'm coming back to the same places from time to time to add more. And as you can see it's slowly giving definition to the model itself. next part we're going to do is blocking all the different materials so the said the leather parts between the legs uh, the eagle everything that's going to be metal we're going to cover it up with black uh, as you noticed I didn't do the highlights on the model the final highlights this will be done after we finish the rest of the model, so we don't uh, mess up the paint job. We could have done, I could have done the highlights before, but just pros of mine. Uh, uh, as you see, I'm not di uh, thinning my black paint at all because it's already thinned down a lot, so I don't have to worry about that one. You can see I'm just blocking in the colors, additional shading, and not additional shading, just blocking in the colors it's to separate them from the armor. If you make a mistake here, uh, just take a brush fast and just some water and just remove the paint itself. Here I'm adding on the gun. I didn't record the armor on the gun when I was painting, I forgot. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, that's it for considering this. Now we're going to be adding a little bit of white rather than black and we're going to highlight a little bit of the gun or the black parts. Here we're going to do a highlight on the top part where we think that uh, the light would hit. Here I made a little bit mistake, maybe I should have added a little bit of blue to the mix, so it's not so grey, but I think this is more of a preference than a, a must. Now coming back to the, let's say, these connection parts between the legs, the rubber ones, just adding it a little bit. Nothing spectacular. Oh, I hate I hate painting with lines. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more white for the. I'm going to put less, less small lines to define the how to say these uh, hoses or whatever. 
and on the gun we're going to add edge highlighting on the top parts I made a mistake here the paint wasn't dry 100% it was rushing a little bit so that's why you see me coming back and forth with the paint you can see I'm highlighting a little bit doing some edge highlights to define the casing of the gun I don't know if you can see it correctly adding more it's just adding depending on you adding more white just don't do when you're doing the final highlights just don't do the straight lines just break them up a little bit looks much better than just thin lines all around now that we've done the how do you say the black parts we're going to go do the metals we're just adding Lead belcher to all the metal parts, so that's on the gun, the backpack, the vents on the backpack. So just, just be careful a little bit not to mess up the the armor paint job. But this depends on you. If you make a mistake, just take water and do, have a let's say a spare brush. On the side so you can easily just dip it in and uh, remove the paint while it's still wet what I think I forgot oh, we'll see I think I forgot here to yeah I forgot to one part uh, all the metal parts I washed with Agrax Earthshade, but somehow I deleted the footage, so sorry guys. <laughs> Here we are using uh, Valeo Silver. I love this color, it's really smooth to apply. And it's really bright and has great contrast. So here we're going to just add a little bit of uh, edge highlighting to the metal. Mm. Well, I hate watching myself paint <laughs> and explaining it even worse uh, you can see I'm adding small highlights here and there if you're not happy you can always add more uh, how do you say wash a little bit just to down dull it down yeah instead of silver you can use stone horse silver also at this point we are now painting the rim uh, trims is it trim i think it's trims called for the on the shoulder pads i opted to go with the third company no second company no no that's third company third company is red sorry about that and we're using mephisto red and we're slowly uh, being careful a little bit uh, to paint all the trims. Ooh, trimming, love it. Speed up a little bit the boring stuff. I think all the whole tutorial might be boring at this point. <laughs> oh, why do I paint? Why do I record this? Uh, we're also going to do the eyes since we're already painting so we just add a little bit of red on the bo bottom part of the eye i'm going to add a little bit of white to the mix and just have put small highlights at the bottom bottom part I don't know if you can see it you can see like that always position your model while painting so it's easier for your hand to reach it like this and then for the eyes the last thing you're going to do is put a little white dot on the 
this is the most difficult part okay, this one was good but i think this one i made messed up a little bit so i had to fix yeah i had to fix this so i use a little bit of brown and black and just fix it up a little bit and that's it that's the eyes now we're going to continue with the trims now we're going to use evil sun scarlet and just to do couple of uh, spot highlights we're not going to uh, paint the whole thing like that you can see i'm doing on the top part on the lower corner and the middle of the bottom part just to simulate the light hitting it at least i think it will hit like that i might be wrong <laughs> uh <laughs> hate watching myself paint here i'm also adding a little bit of brown to the mix to do the shading just to get a little bit of variation of colors and just fixing it coming back as it dries if we come back fix we always do the thin layers here i'm adding uh, some uh, ivory oh well, not uh, some white you can use any white you want uh, and i'm doing a little bit of edge highlighting for the shoulders just to define the edges a little bit you can always use the side of the brush for that Uh, shaking of the camera sorry about that should have stopped and but it, you can see i'm also adding it a little bit more to the let's say points of the where the light should be coming from a little bit of focusing problems <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> oh it's very really hard to paint and uh, record these things it's actually horrible for me it's not my natural position of painting ordinarily after this my head hurt for two days but here i'm adding a little bit of a brighter uh, highlight just to make it more more interesting to bring up the contrast now we're going to do the how to say uh, the purity seal it's almost the same system as on the top part we're going to be adding Mephisto red and then highlighting it with a mix of uh, white and uh, how to say now that's the first layer was dry I came back and just done a little bit of brighter highlights just to get out the details of the purity seal hopefully you can see and next thing we're going to do is paint the eagle or the wings with the skull on his chest we're going to use retributor armor it's i like this color it's really nice and it's just doing the base color and after it's dry, we're going to use contrast Gulliman flesh for the shading of it. Uh, now you could use also Rikland flesh, flesh shade if you don't have it. You don't have the contrast paint. Uh, it's you get almost the same similar effect here. I'm pushing a little bit faster. Here we are uh, adding a little bit of silver to the retributor armor. And we're going to highlight all the feathers. You can see it's turning out really nice. You could try it with the flat side of your brush to paint it like this. Uh, it's easier for me at least. And the last thing I'm going to do is a little bit of silver just on the edges. To make it even more interesting 
And if you mi miss somewhere, just use uh, Gulliman Flesh again and just repaint it. Uh, add it to the shadows. Here we're going to do the Purity Seal. And we're going to do uh, Ushapti Bone. It's a little bit thin down. When I was up mixing it, I thinned it up a little bit more. And while doing this, I'm going while it's still being uh, wet, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, Rhinox High to the mix. And then just move around the paint, adding to the highlights what I think it would. And it will be naturally mixing with the Rhinox High. Now that it's dry, we're going to come back with again with the Ushapti Bone and just. Uh, uh, come back and fix the highlights to make them a little bit more brighter hope I'm explaining this correctly or probably not with that we're going to add a little bit of uh, white to the Ushapti bone for the final highlights and it's just on the edges and so we have a good contrast between now here we're going to paint the leather parts on the model and we're painting the ammo pouch, I don't know what that is, and the gun holster with the gun. And here we can use one, or I, two, I use two, uh, how do you say, layers. And here we're going to mix Dumbu Brown with Ushapti Bone. You could uh, use, a, let's say, a, co a different, like a skin color. Maybe Cadian Flesh Tone would be also nice for this. And here I'm just defining first the, the first layer, the first highlight of the leather parts. Are separating all the different parts together so it's darker, brighter, different parts. We're going to be adding more. Now, these are the next highlights. While it's still drying, we're going to add like small lines all around the the, let, the packs or whatever they're called uh, just to get a little bit of simulation of letter of old this is just the second highlight so there will be more This is horrible to watch. <laughs> you can see I'm doing a little to, here and there, I'm doing a little bit of lines. Uh, more more Ushapti is being added. Here I'm going to be doing a little bit more dots, dotting. Uh, is it dotting? I don't know. Uh, so it's not straight lines, it's more break and broken lines. It's better like that. It's not. It doesn't look uh, like. Let me say uh, a natural. It looks more natural when you break it up a lot. And this is going to be the final highlight. You can see that I'm doing small scratches. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is on the leather is just use Agrax Silk Shade. Here I use the gloss because I didn't have the matte one. And just cover it all up just to blend all the high highlights together, all the paints. It will look a little bit, man, a little bit nicer. 
And here we're coming back to the final part. Not final, but when it comes to the armor, we're finally doing the edge highlights. You can see I'm going a little bit brighter with this one. Now you could use the side of the brush, but if you can't, you have to be a little bit careful. If you mess something up, you can always come back with the Gulliman. Uh, uh, brain freeze. Macarage blue. I just fix it up a little bit, or Caldor sky, depending on. See here, I done a little bit too thick. Always, like I said, please always move your model around to get the optimal position for you and your hand. Now, you guys, you must understand this is my process, it but doesn't mean you have to paint the, your models like this. I'm just showing you my my system of painting. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Probably not nothing. <laughs> now, like you can see, I'm just going around, doing edge highlighting. It's just defining all the edges. And it's now process of going all around the model. Now, like I said, you can see that I'm using uh, side of my brush, tip of my brush, depending on the position when I'm painting, is it easy to, uh, now here you could also go back and do even brighter on certain points, almost pure white, but I decided it was enough for one highlight to do, you can see I'm doing only the top parts, here I'm fixing the hand, nothing spectacular. Sorry, I'm just moving the model away from the camera, but I apologize. Uh, ooh, and now that we're finished with the, the painting of the highlight, now we're going to apply some decals. First, we're going to apply on the surface, we're going to apply the decals. It's going to be microsol. This will, uh, this will, uh, help the, the the transfer the decal to stick better to the surface uh, for this you better use an old brush like a synthetic brush or anything don't use your better ones and now we're going to apply the decals first we're going to put it in the water i always use like warm water it's, it it uh, removes the decal faster And probably leave the model flat. You can see I'm using a brush to push it on. This is one of my worst things I had to do when doing applying this. And here I'm trying with a. Uh, I, I didn't take the right tools to move the decal around you can use a brush you can use a scalpel a needle at some point i finally found the tool that uh, i was planning to use here i'm thinking what the hell i'm going to do and here i'm using the part uh, where i pinned the hand when i was painting and then you just move it around press it a little bit with a finger or a tissue Here I'm using actually a tissue. Next one we're going to add the uh, tactical transfer. Again, move it around. 
put it in the position that you think. A little bit tissue from top. Make sure it's dry so it doesn't pull or pull your uh, transfer together. Uh, it's fallen off from the. See it moved a little bit. Coming back. Just remove the excess uh, moisture. And here we're going to be adding micro soil. This is was a game changer when I found this. Always had problems with decals that are not conforming to the material itself. With this, you just once it, the decal is dry, uh, you come back and you go over it a nice layer over the transfer itself. Leave it to dry a little bit, and then come back do a cup. I think you in the end I done three layers of this stuff and the uh, transfers just uh, it softens them and they just conform better to the to the material uh, to the materials so bend parts and everything now that it's dry i done a matte varnish over them just to seal them in and here I'm going to glaze a little bit of uh, Mechanicum Standard Grey just to give a little bit of shadows uh, to the paint. You can see here I done a little bit of thicker paint and I'm just using water or spit to, <laughs> to move it around. Just a wet brush and just move the paint around just like glazing. I was supposed to do glazing, but uh, in the end I just done it like this. And go for each one. You can see I done a little bit, then push the paint around. And on the ultramarine symbol I just uh, done it on the lower part where the shadow is. And it makes the model a little bit more interesting. It doesn't look anymore like a transfer. I could have come back and uh, here I'm doing uh, applying a uh, gloss varnish for the next step of the model. Uh, since we're going to use oil washes for your, our panel lining. And here is me doing oil washes. <laughs> Simple, take oil wash, I Windsor and Newton uh, are great paints, so I use them. Take a little bit with your brush. Uh, put it in a cup where you uh, put your white white spirit. Now the good thing about uh, oil washes is that you can always uh, remove them with the uh, white spirit. You can see here I'm mixing it. Uh, here I'm applying and you can see, uh, hopefully you can see, the capillary action of the oil. And uh, since we put, uh, how to say, gloss varnish you can see just just putting just press where i want the highlight go and it just goes all around and again when you're finished if you don't like some parts you can always come back take a tissue a little bit of white spirit and just clean it up and without damaging the paint itself uh, here we're now doing the base. I'm just doing PVA glue, standard, and then sand, and just remove excess sand if possible. Uh, now we're going to use the agar search. I'm going to make a little thinner ver version of it. Thin it down a lot and then just paint all over the model or base of the model. <laughs> but also, while I'm painting, you will see that I'm also applying uh, a little bit of Rhinox hide to the lower parts, glazing the lower parts of the legs just to, um, how to say, 
blend the model with the base itself so it's he it looks like he's walking around and dirt is on his feet you see i'm just applying it on the lower parts like it's like a glaze so the more you put it will be uh, how you say you'll see more right oxide and now we're going to do towel light toker dry brush light dry brush on the base Spectacular. Let's do it like this. I'm using a makeup brush. I found that they're really nice and they're not expensive. Also, as you see, I'm also dry brushing a little bit on the legs. Here I'm applying a little bit of static grass. Just to make the model more interesting. This is my standard uh, basing scheme for my ultramarine. So, here a little bit of tufts. These are my homemade tufts. So, don't ask me where I got them. <laughs> and that's it. And the last part is doing the black trim or whatever color you choose. I always like to do them black. And that's it. Finished model, you can see the finished model, uh, uh, I also, at the end of the, when it's all dry, I use a matte varnish to finish up the model, and that's it. And that's the end of the tutorial, with a bucket load of bad explanations, <laughs> and hopefully you watch some of it. And that's it, uh, next one, I don't know, probably, maybe, probably will be Space Wolves. Uh, if you have some requests, leave a comment below. If you have some comments, leave a comment below. Suggestions, leave a comment below. Trash talk about me, leave a comment below. <laughs> uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. Hit the bell button if you want to get notifications when I upload a new video. And thank you for watching and stay grumpy.